Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Chris's Hobby Garage Shop. I just want to show you really quickly this mini bike I made. Uh, an e-bike or e-mini bike. Uh, I made it out of uh, four cordless drill batteries, 18 volts each. And the reason this box, I made it like this originally, it was these type of batteries, the 12 volt um square batteries like they're for alarms or whatever but i found that the charge didn't last very long so i wanted something that it would last a bit longer the charge and i found that the cordless drill batteries the charge lasted way longer so that's why the box looks like that i'll bring it a bit closer so right here there's one battery over there one over here these ones over here. So there's four of them hooked up, wired to produce uh, 36 volts. Actually fully charged. It's around 40 volts. And not bad. 36 volt motor. The uh, motor control is right here. I also have a voltage indicator right here. It says 100%, but technically it says 38 volts. Right here is a speedometer, which I'll show you in a few minutes. So I'll turn this on. The switch is right there. And just to give you an idea how it runs. Now you're gonna notice the wheel wobbles a bit, but when I took it out for a spin, it doesn't really wobble. It wobbles just over here. And the reason is the sprocket over here, I connected it with the wheel. It's a little bit off, but it does do the job. Right over here is the motor. I had the motor from a while ago. Pedals out of a bicycle and the mirrors, brakes, caliper brake in the back, right here, and I'll show you the speedometer, how that works, how I hook that up. And this is just the wiring for the um, batteries, how I jumped it around, put the the load on the motor, the switch. So all this, I have 18 volts, but it produces 36 volts. Fully charged, it gives me about 40 volts because the batteries are fully charged and around seven amps. So that's how I configured the wiring. So it's a cool little project. And uh, in a little while, I'll take it out for a spin just to let you guys see what it looks like out in the house. So we're back here. And right here is the sensor the for the speedometer. The magnet which makes contact. And right up here. Let's see if I can. Right there. So you get the idea. And right here, the switch, which I wired up for on off for the batteries, the controller. So it's not a bad little project. So right here, I just put it on this uh, stand that I made, homemade stand, 
to help me with the bikes when I want to work on them or in the mini bike there's the motor the batteries the hookups caliper brakes the seat from another bike sensors and I'll just turn it on one more time switch is on reading okay So you get the idea. Just turn it off. So that's it in a nutshell. Very easy to make. Wiring is okay. Wasn't that difficult. And it's a good little project. And we'll take it out for a little run uh, later. And um, thanks for watching. Come on back and we're going to take out the uh, e-bike. The electric mini bike out for a little spin over here. I'm gonna turn it on. And we're gonna go. So that's how it works. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Chris Hobby Garage Shop.